All right, friends, it is time to start this morning vlog. It is time to start the day, but I did want to highlight that my skin is doing so much better. I finally started a meeting with a dermatologist for the first time in my entire life, and I was just getting to a point where I couldn't take it anymore. I just did not know what to do with all of the breakouts that I was consistently having every single week for almost a year or maybe even more than that at this point. So I have prescriptions, I have a whole routine going down. My dermatologist actually said that my usual routine is actually really great to continue to do it. So if you want to see that, that is in past vlogs. I just didn't want to be redundant, but yeah, it's been about a month since I last met with my dermatologist and things are looking up finally. But anyway, the fit for the day, let me show you. Okay, so the fit of the day is very casual per usual. As you know, I work from home. So my sweater is from Save the Duck. It's just a navy oversized sweater. My leggings are from Set Active. And then I just have some Nike quarter socks. Kept it pretty <laughs> simple. I just have my hair out. I really need to wash my hair, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, it is breakfast time. So I usually meal prep my breakfast for the entire week on Sundays. So I don't have to worry about like making an individual meal every single morning. It makes my morning routine just a little bit more efficient. So what I have essentially is I have this uh, bread from Bread Alone. Bread Alone is like one of my favorite brands to get bread. So I'm just going to toast up a slice of this. I keep this in the freezer so that it stays fresh for the entire week. Usually when you buy this from the grocery store, if you're hearing jingling, that's the cats fighting because they always fight during breakfast time. Um, uh, this usually goes bad if you don't uh, freeze it. So I freeze that and then I just thaw it out in my toaster. Then I am going to be putting some Earth Balance on it. This is actually really, really good. I know this is like an OG vegan butter, and I kind of used to be like, whatever, it's it's not going to be that amazing. It's actually really, really good. So I'm going to put that on the toast once it's toasted. And then this looks really disgusting. I'm very well aware that it looks disgusting, but it's basically just, just egg, like a bottle of just egg that I mixed with seasonings, and then I put in a ton of finely chopped spinach. I usually take a bag of spinach, like the entire bag. I throw it into the freezer, let it get frozen, and then I throw the entire bag of frozen spinach into a blender so that it gets really, really fine. Almost like a powder, almost, but not quite. And then I mix that into the just egg mixture. I put it on a sheet pan and then I baked it so that it made like little egg patties. So the reason why it looks so disgusting is because there's so much spinach in there that it turned the entire thing green. But <laughs> it is vegan egg patties, long story short. And I'm just gonna top my slice of toast with it, my slice of butter toast with it. And it'll be like a little open faced sandwich. And then I have strawberries on the side. These are just regular strawberries. This container I got from Target. It keeps like produce super fresh. It has like this thing at the bottom. Anyway, that's my breakfast. And then I have to feed the cats. I cut the tops off, not because you can't eat them. You actually can, but because I like to give them as snacks to my rabbit. If you didn't know, I have a rabbit and she is actually eight. I think she just turned eight. She either just turned eight or she just turned nine. But she loves the sweets, especially banana and strawberry tops. Okay, so I have my buttered toast. I love this bread so much. And I'm just taking my very ugly looking but delicious vegan egg patties with the spinach. I just place it right on top like that. And it's like an open face sandwich. And then I have my strawberries. Oh, and of course, I have to refill my Stanley. Drink about two of these every single day, so I love this thing. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, it is basically 
just a pill box. Like pills are supposed to be in there, but <laughs> there are pills over there. I just didn't want it to fall out. It's for my vitamins. So I just pull this out every single morning so I don't forget. Okay. So as you saw, I am reading a book and this is actually part of my daily morning routine. I actually don't remember if I put this in my last morning routine. I might have forgotten to do that, but it is definitely a staple in my morning routine because I have a goal of reading at least one book a month. And so far, I know there's only been two complete months so far, but I have completed that goal and it's a, it's a really, really good goal for me. I personally get a lot of fulfillment from it especially because last year, it took me the entire year to finish two books. <laughs> and I've already finished two books for this year and it is, we're only in the third month. So this is the book that I'm currently reading. It's an ARC, so it's not like the prettiest looking edition, <laughs> but I'm sure the actual uh, brand new edition looks fabulous. I don't know why it's so beaten up. I just started reading it, but this is, Please stop. Anyway, yeah, so this is Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones. I just finished reading My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. He is like my favorite author at the current moment, I am pretty sure. Um, but My Heart is a Chainsaw was actually the first book in possibly an ongoing series. And so this is the second book, Don't Fear the Reaper. I got the arc and I got this way before it was published, but I'm seeing on the cover here that it was published in February. So it's already out. Like I said, I'm sure the published version looks a lot better than my beat up version, but I am about 72 pages in. It is good. I am enjoying it. I don't want to do any sort of spoilers. I know any little bit of spoilers is, is not a good thing, but I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely a different vibe than the first one, if you read the first one, at least so far. I'm only 72 pages in, like I said, and this is about a 452 page book. So we'll see how this goes. I did have a friend who read this before me, right before me, and she says it gets more intense as it goes on. By the way, this is a horror book it's in the horror genre so i'm expecting things to get intense but yeah i'm keeping updated on my story graph so after i read for 10 minutes every single morning i go into story graph which is just an app it's an app for you to like track your reading progress uh click on books that you want to read and it does like a chart for you throughout the year on like your reading habits i like it way better than goodreads so i just go into what i'm currently reading which is Don't Fear the Reaper. And then I just like update what page I'm on. So like I said, I'm on page 72. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm basically 16% <laughs> through the book, which is very, very little, but it's still the beginning of March. Actually, no, it's the middle of March. I will definitely have to catch up somewhere along the lines. I always pick a long book and long books for me are like in the 400 page range. I'm reading 10 minutes a day. So whatever I can get in those 10 minutes is what I get for the entire day, which I should be, I shouldn't be hard on myself because reading for the 10 minutes every single day is what's getting me through my reading goal. So it's actually moving quite well, but um, I just move very gradually in comparison to some others who sit down for an hour every single day and read. But yeah, now that I have done my 10 minutes of reading, I go into 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes actually, of journaling. So if you didn't know in the beginning of the year i decided that i'm going to do a bit of a hybrid kind of the planning style half of it is going to be digital and half of it's going to be in a physical journal so that's what i have here this is my weekly spread i keep it super super minimal y'all so that just works for me and i just go in i do a little bit of habit tracking i look at what oh my gosh i almost dropped that i look at what i have to do for today which i'm looking at right now i just have to do this youtube video for the day and um yeah i'm good to go this is sort of like my reference every single morning and every single night where i just kind of like check and make sure that I've gotten my daily to-do lists done and I've done my habits for the day. And then Notion pretty much has all of the other details. I don't wanna get into to Notion too much because I know I've talked about it a lot lately, but yeah, Notion is what I refer to throughout the day and the journal is what I refer to right now and then later on in the day when I'm filling out my habit tracker stuff. So 
that's pretty much it for this journaling session actually there wasn't that much for me to look at i should probably get my laptop though because there's more details in there So you can't see it, but I promise you my laptop is right over here. For some reason, the way that I was angling it, like half of my head would have gotten cut off if I showed the laptop. But what I'm doing right now is essentially just going into my calendar, my Google calendar. I'll also go into my Notion where I have like different lists, but I don't need to go into it just yet because that's like where all of my, I don't know what you would call it, maybe the fine details of the day are. So it's not unless I start getting getting started in a project that I'll go into those details, which I'm obviously not doing just yet. I just got the day started. I first look at my Google Calendar and I'm looking at it right now. And I like to see if I have any meetings because obviously meetings are something that I try not to work around. I mean, meetings are something that I do try to work around. I try to say, okay, I have meetings here and here. What can I get done before it, after it? Etc. So I do have a meeting at 11 a.m. I also have a meeting from 9.30 until 11 a.m. So it's 9.30 to 11, 11 to 12, and then that's it for meeting. So my morning is pretty much booked. <laughs> so for the rest of the day, I'll be able to get some stuff done. And now I'm pulling up Notion to see those details that I was talking about. Okay, nothing too intense, honestly. Uh, it's the latter half of the week, so usually I am super, super busy in the beginning half of the week, and then it starts to trickle down as we get closer to the weekend. That's just the way that I like to set it up so that come the weekend, I'm not like, oh my god, super exhausted, and then I don't have the energy to enjoy my weekends, if that makes sense. So I try to do that as much as I possibly can. So my day is not looking too bad, aside from my morning being completely consumed by meetings, but that is absolutely fine. I like to make myself a cup of coffee. As you all know, if you watch me on TikTok, I make my coffee, I think about something that brings me joy for the day, and then I kind of sit through these meetings and sip on my coffee. So I try to make the most of it. You know what I mean? But I did want to, let me move my laptop away from me so I can sit and chat with you for a quick sec. I feel like I don't get to do this often. I feel like when I'm doing other videos for the channel, I am talking a lot about like, I don't know, I feel like I'm giving educational kind of content. So I'm talking about Notion or I'm talking about my Google Pixel 6 or 7 Pro or something related to that. And I don't really get to sit and give you life updates on Instagram. I only ever do that if I go on the occasional but rare live or, you know, if you see all of my posts on my feed, I will drop, you know, some updates into my captions and stuff like that. But if you're not on my Instagram, if you're not checking me out on TikTok and watching like the things that bring me joy, kind of series that I've created, you have no idea what's going on in my life. So that's what I pretty much wanted to do right now, catch you up really quickly, don't wanna talk your ears off. I know some people don't like it when I do vlogs and I talk a lot, but like I said, I like to give you a little bit of a rundown on what's going on. I never get to do that, and that's the only way that I feel like I get to connect with you. Of course, I connect with you when I'm talking about Notion. I love Notion, and I know you love Notion too, or my Google Pixel phones and stuff like that, but you know, sometimes you just want to feel like you're on a FaceTime and you're just chatting with, with a friend, so that's exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like I said that 20 times already. Anyway... So what is going on with my life right now? I have to say things are going pretty darn well. I have been posting a lot of short form video content, not just on TikTok, which is like the norm or on Instagram reels, but also here on YouTube shorts. I just decided one day that I was going to repurpose my content from other platforms here on YouTube shorts because why not? And so that's what I have been doing and I've really, really been enjoying it. I've been enjoying experimenting with short form video content on all three platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, because as similar as they are, and we all know that that structure came from one place and it you know, grew into the other places, it is different. There's a different vibe, there's a different experience with each sort of platform. And I kind of 
like that. I like that I can take one piece of content and turn it to three brand new different things just based off of the platforms. It's just been fun. I am glad that I am not like annoyed by it, but because I know a lot of people do get annoyed by having to post short form content and post it everywhere. If I was in that headspace, I would be so, so unmotivated. And I was at that place in the beginning stages of YouTube shorts, but now that I've kind of gotten into a routine, I, I like it. But anyway, enough of that talk. I just wanted to say that I have been experimenting with a lot of that lately. So if you're seeing a lot of that, that's precisely why. Another thing that has been going on in my life, I talked about this really, really briefly only on TikTok during one of my like brings me joy uh, videos. But I was dealing with some health issues at the, at the end of 2022. Um, and it really set me back. It really set me back mentally. I was feeling really, really bad for myself. I was really beating myself up about it, even though, you know, there was hope with the diagnosis. I don't know. I'm making it sound a lot more scary than it is, but I was basically dealing with a health issue and I was feeling really, really bad about it. I felt like my life had turned upside down and I went back to the doctor after three months, which was this month. Yeah, this month earlier this month, and I reversed the health issue. I I can't even believe it. I have just been on a path of just like figuring out what healthy routine is good for me. And by healthy, I don't mean like, I don't mean like the standard norms of what health means. I mean like what's healthy for me, what eating habits are good for me, what exercise habits are good for me, and it's just very unique to me and what makes me feel good, what makes me feel comfortable and stuff like that. And so I've just really been settling and getting used to that routine, that healthy routine. And I'm just so glad that I'm also settling in in this space. I'm starting to notice a pattern with what I said with the video content, but I'm settling into a space where I feel comfortable and I don't feel discouraged and it's just keeping me going. It's like allowing me to stay motivated. I know we find a lot of comfort in kind of the mundane and that's absolutely where I'm at. So it's good, like I am able to keep a consistent routine that I feel comfortable with and in the same process, I reversed a health issue. So it's just been, it's just been good. I do not wanna jinx it and like something comes out of nowhere and then it just completely changes up my routine. I don't think that's the case. I don't foresee that happening, but right now, it has just been smooth sailing and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it stays that way. And I'm just really proud of myself for being able to reverse a health issue. I feel like that is not something that gets talked about often. I feel like once you get diagnosed with a health, health issue, you have to live with it forever. And if th that's not necessarily the case for all health issues. With my particular health issue, I was able to reverse it. And the doctors told me that I could reverse it. So I went into this knowing that I could do it and I did it. So. Yeah, just been feeling good about that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right there because I've been talking for way too long. But thank you so much for joining me on this uh, little morning routine slash chat slash catch up. I hope you're doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. Let me know what has been going on in your life lately. Again, I feel like I haven't been chatting with you in a while, at least in this type of way, in a casual type of way. So please do let me know what's going on in your life. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please feel free to introduce yourself in the comments. I would love to meet you there. But that is all for this week's video. I will talk to you in next week's video.